Welcome students. Today in our 10th mathematics class, we are going to see unit 3 algebra. Today's class is about direct variation graph. We throw light on example 3.47. Variation graphs. First we are going to see what is meant by direct variation. Okay. Well, let us imagine the scenario. I go to the market to buy some apples. The vendor says the cost of 1 kg apple is rupees 200. So if I want to buy 1 kg, I have to give rupees 200. If I want to buy 2 kgs, then I have to give 400. And 3 kg, 600. And for 4 kg, 800. And it goes on like that. Okay. Let us take the weight of the apples as x and the cost as y then what happens if x increases then the value of y also increases proportionally or if x decreases then the value of y also decreases proportionally the word proportionally is very very important let us tabulate them weight and cost you see that here 1 200 2 400 3, 600, 4, 800. These are all weights and these are all costs. So, here we can see that 200 by 1 is 200, 400 by 2 is 200, 600 by 3 is 200, 800 by 4 also 200. This is called proportion. Okay. So, we say this y is directly proportional to x, y is directly proportional to x. To remove this proportionality, we use a constant y is equal to k into x. What is the meaning? y proportionally directly proportional to x means y is equal to some constant into x. This constant is called constant of proportionality. From this we can find what is that k. So, k is equal to y by x. This y equal to k x is known as the equation of direct variation and k is y by x. This is very, very important. Now, let us see the example. Varshika drew six circles with different sizes. Draw a graph for the relationship between the diameter and circumference of each circle as shown in the table and use it to find the circumference of a circle when its diameter is 6 cm. Look at the table. 1, 3.1. 1 is the diameter, 1 centimeter, circumference 3.1. But actually, when you substitute this in the 2 pi r equation, you will get different uh, answer for that. So, here they take only the approximation results. Uh, this approximation is given like this, approximately related. And we expect this correction in the next edition. Okay. Now, we are going to see the steps. The first one is, variation, second one is constant, third one is equation, fourth one is table, fifth one is solution, variation, constant, equation, table, solution. These are all the five steps to find the solution of a graph. You can remember these five steps by a mnemonic. Yes, vice captain eats tomato slice. Vice captain eats tomato slice. You see that words V, C, E, T, S. So, we can use this mnemonics to remember these steps. Step by step solution. To understand where to start and how to proceed, we use this step by step solution. Okay. First one is we are going to identify the type of variation. So, I put the table here. Variation. You see that. From the table, we found that as x increases, y also increases proportionally. Hence, the variation is a direct variation. Next one is constant. We have already seen how to find the constant, this y value by x value. And we can check that whether it is correct or not throughout the table. So, k is equal to 3.1 by 1, 6.2 by 2. Throughout the table, it is what? 3.1. So, k is equal to 3.1. Very important. Next, third one is equation. We are going to write the equation, direct variation equation. So, what is it? 
y equal to kx. How to remember that? Yang king jerax. Y is equal to kx. Okay. So, y equal to what? 3.1x. Next, fourth step is table. We have already put the table here. Okay. Remember that if the table is given in the question itself, you have tried once again here in order to mark the points. Points to be marked. 1, 3.1, 2, 6.2, 3, 9.3, 4, 12.4, 5, 15. Point. And the last step is what? Solution. For that, we need the question. Okay, let us see the question. What is the question asked? Draw the graph of the relationship and the, use it to find the circumference of the circle when its diameter is 6 cm. So, you have to write this. Okay, that part only. So, from the graph, when the diameter is 6 cm, the circumference of the circle is, you put a dash for that. Now, we are going to draw the graph. First, you put the axis like that, x and y axis. Here, we take only positive directions. Look at this. This is the table. Here, 1 to 5. Here, 3.1 to 15.55. So, we take uh, both x axis, y axis and 1 cm, 1 unit. Okay, you put like this x and y. What is x? Diameter in centimeter, circumference in centimeter. Okay, let us mark the points 1, 3.1, 2, 6.2, 3, 9.3, 4, 12.4, 5, 15.5. Do you understand this? How to mark the points? Okay, what is the next step? You have to join these points through a line. You place your scale like this and draw a line. Okay, and you mark the name y equal to 3.1x. Next, what is the question asked? Let us see the question once again and use it to find the circumference of a circle when its diameter is 6 cm. Where is diameter in x axis? So, we place our scale just near the point x, okay, as and you draw a line. Now, this line meets the line y equal to 3.1x in a point, okay. From that point, you draw another line horizontally, okay. It meets somewhere in y axis and that point is 18.6. So, that is the required answer. So, when the diameter is 6 cm, the circumference is 18.6 cm. Finally, we are going to write the answer in the solution step. Here, we have to fill up this step, 18.6 cm. That is all very, very simple and easy graph.